Rich Tarani here. Thanks for watching. We're at WebRTC Expo Atlanta 2014 on our show. Scott Lamond, he's the CEO of TalkBox. Scott, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to see you again, Rich. Uh, likewise. So uh, let's talk a little bit about your keynote. I'm really excited to hear what you have to say. Yes, we're excited to be here. We're going to be talking about some x86 coverage for Android, uh, some updates to our mobile SDKs that are very exciting, and also our archiving uh, services going into production. Fantastic. Now, give us um, the 30-second elevator pitch on the company. So we run a cloud platform that is powered by WebRTC, which developers and our customers use to embed live video into their websites and mobile applications. We're owned by Telefonica, so uh, we have a global footprint, primarily in Europe and Latin America, where Telefonica is located, but also around the planet. Great. So what are some of the most exciting things you're seeing in the world of WebRTC right now? Well, certainly we're seeing a lot of activity in the customer service space, but also uh, medical and education. Education being split with large institutions and tutoring platforms. Well, that's a wide range of uh, things that you're seeing, right? Well, as a platform, you can imagine we deal with you know, a very long tail of developers, but also Fortune 100. So we see pretty much everything. So customer service is obviously a big segment, but there's going to be a lot of uh, opportunity to save money and make money. Where do you see the, the biggest disruption, making or saving money? I think it's in making money. So a lot of people thought that when WebRTC first came out, it would be a cheaper way to do voice or a better way to do video conferencing. But in reality, we're seeing people do new things where they're actually delivering positive ROI by increasing basket size, by uh, making sure the conversion rate is going up because they can engage customers at the point of sale. Oh, very exciting. So uh, what about new services, like something like um, a Skype-like service that a carrier can charge for or something that's sticky, kind of like a FaceTime, a universal FaceTime, or, or anything like that that you're seeing? Well, if you uh, uh, noticed recently, we've done some blogging about some work we're doing with Mozilla to bring uh, live communications directly to the Firefox browser, and that's very exciting. Um, we do see a lot of people doing real-time uh, collaboration platforms as a service, and they're using the OpenTalk platform to power the video and the audio components of that. Very often those uh, services involve screen sharing or other types of data collaboration, so that's very exciting as well. Fantastic. If you have to look out into the future, tell us where you think uh, WebRTC will be, let's say, I don't know, if you can even predict five years out the way things are moving so quickly. Where will your company be? Where will WebRTC be? Wow, that's a tough one. Uh, it's moving so quickly today. Um, I think, you know, we talk in terms of, you know, when HTML came out, did anybody really anticipate there being a LinkedIn or an eBay or anything like that? It's very hard to know. I, I do believe that uh, things will become uh, very different in the different verticals that we're seeing. So healthcare, education, finance and banking, retail. I think that as developers really engage with what can be done on the WebRTC platform uh, and protocol, that we'll see all manner of very creative solutions that no one can imagine quite yet. Excellent. Thanks for your time today.